<laughs> what a day. It is quarter past ten in the morning. And the day has already been absolutely nuts. <laughs> Regular viewers to my channel will know about my daughter and about the endless issues that she has with her health. And what you probably don't know is that she's picked up on a, a school bus every day to go to school and they park outside our house load her in and off they go probably takes three or four minutes the whole thing one of my neighbors decided that they took exception to where the bus was parked which was not really over his driveway but started having a go that it was too close to their driveway Normally, I'm, I'm quite mild-mannered and, and let things go, and I'd have been like, yeah, it's going to go in a minute. Today, I'll just let him have it. I was like, just wait two minutes. Anyway, bit of a heated exchange of words. Bus disappears. Kept asking me if I was going to hit him. I, I don't really understand why. I wouldn't hit anyone. Not even if there was a good reason to. I just don't believe in violence. Anyway, <laughs> I think he just picked the wrong day. There's like five or six kids on this bus. You don't... Just wait. Just wait. It's no big deal, is it? Just wait. Anyway, let's get on with this video. So, today what I thought I'd do was just let you know I've been using... FreeBSD 15, the stable branch, uh, for a few weeks now. And I just thought I'd let you know what I thought of it so far. Okay, so I don't think this is going to be a very long video, to be honest, but we'll talk about it and we'll move on from there. So, as you can see, it's on uh 15.0 alpha 2. i'm currently uh, just rebuilding world and the kernel for 15.0 alpha 3 which came out a few days ago or was tagged a few days ago i should say it doesn't come out when it's like this really um this is on my production server Let, let's quickly talk about it so if you can see there's the stable 15 branch let's jump into that i was on 14 stable latest logs blah blah blah, blah four days Let's see when it was actually tagged, shall we? I'm not even sure I'll be able to find it. It's been a while anyway, so I'm not going to sit here and just go through this. It'd just be a bit silly. Um, we might actually tell me and update him. There you go. 5th of the 9th, 2025. 15.00064 after branching stable 15 from main. So that was branched back then. And obviously main carries on. 16, 16 current, yeah, the same day. Although you'll probably find it was six, it would have been 15 current, wouldn't it? Yeah. So anyway, if you're expecting an in-depth look at this, that's not this video. What I will say is I have noticed absolutely no difference between 15 and 14. And in my head, that's a good thing because nothing's changed, or at least for me personally. I've not seen any kernel panics. I've not seen well, any issues whatsoever. Here we go. No hardware changed. Be interesting to know what this is. Okay, let's have a look at that. I was getting this before I upgraded to 15, I'm pretty sure. Is that the same one? No. 193 in the queue. Right, okay. Wrong button. Oh, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check it out. So set to 128. So how do I set it to, can I just do a calls 1024? Oh, suspect it's supposed to be that, isn't it? Never know. Anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> I was looking at my D message, wasn't I? So yeah, I've not really seen any issues apart from that. 
and op open DKIM. That's because I've been configuring it. Everything else, totally as it has been, completely normal. Load average is high because it's building world at the moment. Oh, yeah, there you go, building world. I mean, some of these services I could probably turn off because they're cosmetic more than anything else, like uh, dynamic MOTD. Don't really need that. But yeah, for the main, no difference. Apart from that PHP issue, which hopefully what I've just done will will solve that. We'll we'll find out in a couple of days, I guess. Where's the other? So D message yesterday. Let's quickly have a look at that. I would imagine I will see the same thing in there. Yeah, but no SPF issue. Like I said, I've been playing around with that today. So uh, yeah, there are a lot of new things in 15. One of those would be package base, and I, I intend to have a look at that in depth fairly soon because that, that's quite interesting, using package to update FreeBSD. Uh, personally, I, I'm not sure I like that idea. It's a bit like, well, I don't know, FreeBSD update. It, it's sort of the same sort of thing. It's, it's downloading binaries and installing them. I like to build world and do it by source because I know that way it's all compiled for all my system or my hardware. To me, that is the better way forward. But convenience, I, I guess, package base will be good for a certain amount of people, especially if you've got a lot of servers that you want to update. I would imagine it being quite good. And if you can build your own as well, that would be a pretty good move forward. Build your own package base repository. That would be quite interesting. I might actually look into that as well. So that that's coming. I want to have a look at package base because it should be quite quite interesting like i said it's just a short one today um package base coming after we've been to hospital tomorrow <laughs> all go let's get rid of this so it, uh, as always don't forget to leave a comment and, and like and share and subscribe always totally free to do so totally free not to do so as well if that's if that's your wish i'm out of here i, I need to go and finish my coffee and calm down after my adrenaline got a bit pumped <laughs> don't know why people have to do things they do but there we go i will see you in the next video take care see always got something to complain about not sure what that makes me but there we go